the first thing I'm going to do is save the hot potato and I've made a folder for it so that I can keep all the videos etc inside it. Now when you name a hot potato make sure you don't have any spaces if you need a space use an underscore. In this case I'm going to add the video to the left of the questions in a reading text. To add a reading text you just click on this icon over here and then select that click inside this box and to insert the video you go insert media object. Now browse for it it'll tell you that you need to have the video in the same folder so let's use sneezing baby panda make sure there are no spaces okay no spaces in the name of the video very important then all I'm going to do is go OK so there it is no spaces looking good now I'll finish off my close activity once you've finished your activity save it so you can edit it later and then export it to the same folder and it makes sense to use the same name with no spaces now when you view the exercise in your local browser you will only see a link right you won't see the actual embedded video that's reliant on the filters inside Moodle so let's upload it to Moodle now here I'm inside Moodle so I'm going to go to topic 4 and add an activity it's going to be a hot pot if I've been good with the title of my hot pot I can just get it from the source file and then all I have to do is open the folder and select the HDM file as well as the sneezing panda file alright so your video file and your HTM file and drag that across to this box here now this could take quite a while if it's a large video and then very important you must click on the HTM file and set that as the main file then we're ready to go so let's go all the way down here make sure that the media filter is selected to Moodle standard media filters and not selected to none and that will remember what your last setting was and go all the way to the bottom and let's save and display in this example the video is perfect size don't know why sometimes it could be quite large and it could go over this section over here and the easiest way to resize the video is to go back to your hot potato to that reading text and inside here you see this says a href equals after the video you type the following you type a question mark D for dimensions equals and then you put the width and the height so you put a question mark D for dimensions equals and then your width times your height I'm going to save it again and export it I'm going to replace the old one and do nothing and I'll show you how to update that hot potato so in the hot potato I'm going to go edit settings leave this page because I don't want to finish that quiz and all you have to do is go back to your HTM redrag it over here overwrite then make sure you click on that HTM file again set main file then down to the bottom and save and display but obviously you'll have to play with the dimensions and find which one is best suited for your students screens